it's Kat Kennedy from Cuddlebuggery and I am here today to talk about books that my ship will die on. Um, okay, I just made up the title right then. I'm sure I'll come up with a better title later. But anyway, let's get into these books where my ship is doomed to die and talk about them a little bit because some of these books I haven't read the end book to but I kind of know where my ship is heading and that you know people will be like it's wrong it's wrong and all I can say is I can't help it I'm a sucker for a bad guy I really am and so I just feel so much pain when um my ships don't work out even though I know all along that they're not going to work out so Let's just go with probably one of the first ones, and it's still really early days in this series, A Court of Thorns and Thro Roses. Um, look, Rysand, I'm all about the Rysand. Like, I like Tamlin. He's nice, and he's sweet, and, you know, he really cares about fair, and all of that jazz. But let's just discuss the fact that Rysand is hot. So hot and it's just he just fills me with so much joy and I was like all the parts with rice in the book I was like this is delicious I know Sarah J Maas will probably break my ship apart into a million pieces and rice will turn out to be a really bad guy and all that sympathizing that happened with him was just rubbish but I don't even care at this point because I am so in love with this ship <sighs> No words. Now, this book, the Shadow, uh, Shadow and Bone by Lee Badugo, um, is finished. The last book, Ruin and Rising, came out. I think it was last year or something like that. And it's done. It's all done. Yay! I have not read Ruin and Rising, even though I like have it like right over here. But I just can't bring myself to because I really ship the Darkling. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know he's so evil and bad and naughty and that just makes me even more excited. Don't you see? It just piques my interest more. And you know, there's this disconnect between these, these love ships in these books and people who I would actually ship in real life. Like, who I would be like, yeah, I'll be with you. I think I saw it on like Tumblr or something. It was like, yeah, I don't care if he's killed like 2,000 people in this book. I'm still going to ship him. Where Whereas in real life it's like, huh, I'm not sure about his commitment to intersectional feminism and human rights for all people, so I'm not sure about him. Well that's where I am, like in real life I wouldn't want to even know these people, but in these books, man, I ship them so hard. Oh my god. <sighs> Ebony, this is another series that's finished, um, it finished quite a while ago. I've read the first two books, but I haven't read the third one because my ship which is Nikki and Cole, is going to crash into a million pieces. I just know it. After I read the ending to the second book, I was like, ugh, oh, crashed, done. There's no way that my ship is going to work out. And this just brought me so much sadness. Like, I often feel like with female characters that they, the, there's a pressure on authors to make them good and to make them really sweet and kind and thoughtful and all that jazz. And there's this freedom with male characters to make them evil, to make them bad and redeemable, but, you know, twisted and evil and all that jazz. And, um, and the thing is that there's always these elements to the female characters that make you think, maybe she's not so good, maybe she's not so sweet, maybe she does desire that power that he's offering her. And I think that's what really tempts me in, because a lot of this time with these female characters, I'm like, oh, you're not as good as you think you are, you've got a little bad in you, and I like it, I like that bad, so I kind of like the little bit of badness that these guys bring out, and sorry, this cars coming in. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just ignore me while I'm filming a video. Yay! My last ship is actually a contemporary novel. Oh, I'm like, a, I'm like one of those dogs from Up. I'm like, squirrel! Every time something goes past the window, I'm like, squirrel! It's really horrible. Um, this one. Gemma and Ty. Well, that's his name, right? Ty, yes. 
stolen a letter to my captor. It's only one book, so I know how my ship ended, so yeah, um, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but <sighs> this book, guys, this book broke my heart into a million pieces because I knew I shouldn't have shipped it. I knew it was bad and unhealthy and wrong and bad and unhealthy and wrong, but I just freaking loved it. It was so juicy and I was like, oh, just love each other forever. Just stay in the desert. Just stay there and just be together and just love each other and everything. And well, it's a ship that crashed. There, there's a spoiler for you, so yeah. My ships, they always crash, man. They always crash. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check down in the box for all of my linky link stuff. And don't forget to comment and subscribe and do all that jazz. You know what to do already. But thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.